Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and we're back again with an update on my Endless Runner project, Timmy and Mousy. So I've been slacking a little bit with this lately, I've got to be honest, um, but things are still coming along quite nicely. Um, so a couple of weeks ago, you may have seen footage of the Endless Runner running through the forest that we have right here. Um, now, I tried doing something a little bit different with this. Um, there is some little hints, like for example this little butterfly there that flutters away at the start of the level. It does it every time, but it's a different butterfly. It should be a different butterfly. So it randomizes between, I think it's four different ones, so we might hopefully see a purple one now. So there's little more elements of that within this stage. And I kind of like how this is run with little squirrels around as well randomly set on some uh, tree stumps. So yeah, it generally follows the same principle as the other two, which is the Desert Dreams one and the Icy Issues, um, in, in the sense that it's pretty much the same kind of layout with you know these big hills here. Obviously Icy Issues has the big ice blocks at the side and the Desert one has the big deserty rocks so yeah the forest generally follows the same sort of thing but there is a bit more to it this time around there's a bit more color than you would just imagine a green forest there's things like fences um piles of logs obviously the grass as well little mushrooms as well sometimes big mushrooms again it, it just depends what it randomly generates but the biggest thing i've been working on because realistically these levels at the moment just all I do is copy and paste the last one and just change the colour and add to it. The biggest uh, thing I'm going to deal with is the next stage, which is going to be the city. Uh, I have started a little bit of that, but I won't really go into too much of that at the moment because it just looks awful. Uh, so I've still got to work on that. Uh, but I have done the bonus stage. Now, the bonus stage essentially is always going to be this whole kind of desert thing that I've got going on. And the idea of it is if you run out of gems or run out of coins, um, I will have lives implemented. You've got no lives, you've got nothing left. You can play the bonus stage to get a little bit of something out of it. So what I'm going to do is to actually show you the process of this. I'm going to load up the main menu. Uh, I'm going to pull the game view out and bring it full screen and give you a quick demonstration of the current bonus game. It may change. Um, I guess some input from people will be kind of nice. So, bonus game. So, the inspiration from this actually comes from Super Mario Land on the Game Boy. So, that's all we collected there. One coin and a gem. So, go on it again. And obviously, this is completely random. So, as soon as you hit that button, it will stop and run wherever he is. So that time we got four coins. Cool. So it automatically goes back to the main menu. And obviously everything else functions. Uh, I'll get back onto the bonus stage in just a second and explain the inspiration properly for that one. Uh, but so far the level select has been designed a little bit more. So I've got the lives at the top now. Obviously we can select Desert Dreams, we can select Ice Issues, and we can also select Feisty Forest. Now my intention with this is once I've got all the stages that I want, I think it's going to be five. It might actually be six, I don't know yet. Um, it, it just kind of depends. Uh, I want to have this select play stage and then it kind of zooms down to select a runner because at the moment whenever we play the stage it just still selects a random runner uh, of three at the moment because I've only fully well I say fully implemented I've mainly implemented just three but there is going to be at least five There's one of the big mushrooms. so yeah there is going to be at least five runners. Uh, like I say, I kind of want that to pan down real quickly. So if we go to stage select. So we select our stage. And in the same scene, we have our runners, say, down here. And we can select them there. So rather than transition to a new scene, I want to be able to select a stage and a runner all within the same scene. So that's my intention. 
hopefully, hopefully do that in the, uh, well, you'll see that in the next devlog. Um, so yes, the inspiration for that bonus run comes from Super Mario Land on a Game Boy. And anyone that's played Super Mario Land on a Game Boy may understand why that is the case. So once you complete a level, to, uh, you get to the top of the tower, you get to play a quick little bonus game where you can have Mario run along and get you know a life or whatever, a mushroom. And uh, there are little sections where he's got a ladder as well, but I've not implemented that there. And it is kind of random where Mario goes. So we can run along one of the little rows and collect something. So the inspiration from this is from a long, long time ago, like 30 years ago, more than 30 years ago, I think. Uh, yeah, so that is the inspiration for that. And I kind of like it, but it, it might change a little bit. I don't know whether to make it dynamic based on the level you've just played or whether to just stick to the desert run, because I kind of feel the desert is the main focus of this entire game that's mainly what you see like the thumbnails for this is um all in the desert so the bonus stage itself has a nice little sequence script uh, which kind of basically says you randomize where you go and once you hit go you run and it runs through a sequence rather than being able to play in in quotes so you don't technically play it, you just select a random place to run. And once it's done, it goes all the way to the end and then finishes the sequence and takes you back to the main menu, which is right there. So where am I going to go from here with this? Well, like I said earlier, the, the biggest um, obstacle I'm going to face is going to be the city level. The, uh, I've called it Treacle Town. Obviously, you, you can see what I'm doing with this. Desert dreams, icy issues, feisty forest, treacle town. You see what I'm doing with that? Um, so that is going to be what I try and build. And I, when I started building that, I kind of underestimated how difficult it was going to be for me because I'd kind of cheated a little bit so far because all of these stages just follow the same kind of pattern of just applying different colors, adding different objects. And obviously a city or a town is going to be a bit different with buildings and everything. And I want kind of a bit more to it. I, I want it to look kind of cool rather than just the same because I want a bit more differential levels in this game. So the city is going to be uh, what I build next. And I'm also going to start implementing a couple of achievements. And some of them have changed since I actually first came up with them simply because um, I'll, I'll give you a, a, a quick rundown of at least one or two. So one of them was to run 1,100 meters in the desert. Now I have done that several times and it is possible, but it's always down to luck and I want a bit less luck involved in that. So I've reduced that down to, uh, to run 600 meters in the desert to get the um, achievement. Uh, I think it's 700 meters in icy issues and so on. So I've kind of worked around them a little bit. Uh, so I'd like to start implementing them as well as designing my Treacle Town stage. I might also start looking at implementing the store because um, I can't remember if I showed the store in the last one. I probably did. Uh, no, I've gone to icy issues, but that's all right. We'll just run into something and have a look. I think at the moment, I think Icy Issues is my favourite stage to run in. Not quite sure why. So the store, I, I could do with starting to implement a couple of things. Actually, I do think I showed you the store, didn't I? Um, so yeah, you can still you can see I am working on it a little bit because we can see the images starting to appear because we've got the feisty forest one there. Um, so I could do with maybe implementing at least the extra life or extra gem. So I might do that before the next devlog. I'll try not to slack off as well. So that is the progress of this um, project so far. Um, I'm still not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it. I am going to let people, well, when it's done, I am going to let people play it for free, no matter what. That is a given. So you guys will be able to play this for free. Um, Still unsure whether I'm going to sell the source code. Um, still unsure about versions that I can create. I mean, ultimately, I have to make a living somehow. But my main goal here is to actually finish this and let you guys play and then probably decide what I'll do after. 
So, yeah, that's pretty much what I've done this whole time. I think the biggest thing is going to be the forest and then the bonus stage. So the next couple of weeks are going to be difficult. <laughs> well, not difficult, but strenuous. So, yeah, guys, don't forget, click subscribe, click the bell icon. Um, you can stay up to date with all this kind of stuff. You know, I've got tons of tutorials to learn from. Loads and loads of different uh, reviews of assets that you probably find useful. And if you guys fancy giving this a go, trying to make something like this, then, you know, please do and let me see what your results are. So, guys, until the next video, thank you very much for watching.